Tonight we're here at the Rothers Halls in Glen Rothers for Creative Five's first birthday celebrations. Now, just a short time ago, the assembled audience watched a film promoting the organisation. And just a few moments ago, I caught up with some of the delegates to get their thoughts on Creative Five's first year. First of all, Stuart, happy birthday. Creative Fife is uh, one, not this evening, but in a couple of weeks' time. In a couple of weeks' time, yes, it was. I think it was the 18th of May um, when we had our launch party last year. A hundred businesses, you know, not people, but it's a hundred businesses that, are, that have actually come along this evening. I think it is a tribute to the work of Creative Fife that they've managed to bring together such diverse people over the next year and the years afterwards, I think we're going to see a flowering of the creative industry in Fife and I think this is only just the start. We take people who have an idea, who have a desire, who have a, a dream. Can I turn this into a business? We'll mentor them, we'll teach them new skills, we'll give them informal help. We've gone in within a year from no members at all to 218. And still progressing. What I think Creative Fife is helping to do is to bring these people together. If you get a lot of creative people coming in together rather than feeling isolated, then something just falls out of place and it sparks off the creativity in everybody. We've also seen a lot of examples tonight of people who had the creative talent who might not quite have managed to make a business of what they were doing. And Creative Fife has helped to turn that talent, that creativity, into profitable businesses. Well, basically, the video was to comprise of a series of themes that explored each of the different types of creative industry that exists in Fife. And although we couldn't hope to represent everything, we hoped that we could just kind of get a positive flavour of all the good stuff that Fife has to offer. Traditionally, what's happened in the past, a lot of businesses have gone out with Fife into Edinburgh area or the surrounding areas. Now, that's changing slightly because of Creative Fife, but we're passing business amongst each other and it's been really beneficial to our business. And they always say when you start, when you turn a full time in any business, the first year is always the hardest. And Creative Fife certainly helped us achieve our target last year. The small companies who are part of Creative Fife today will become the big companies of tomorrow and that's very important from a, an economic point of view. And we're certainly hoping that Creative Fife will actually inspire other parts of Scotland to actually set up their own creative organisations. This is Stuart McFarlane for MyMac Rushes Television at the Rothersalls, Glenrothers.